questions? Okay, I think I'm in frame. I am back and I wanted to um, share with you guys a Sensi video and this time um, it is about our new spring and summer catalog. Well, it's not new because we're like right in the middle of it. So this is why I thought like this is a good time for you, for me to share with you guys my favorite scents out of the spring and summer 2018 um, Scentsy catalog because I've tested them out. Um, I have my favorites and so I'm going to share that with you guys today of all the scents um, from each category. Now, I, try, I have them all in front of me. I tried not to pick too much because I wanted to narrow it down, but I'm going to tell you guys why I only pick a certain amount per, per section. Okay, so super excited. Let me get down to it. <laughs> all right, so within the, the spring and summer, so here's the catalog. If you guys did not receive one from me, it's okay. If you go into my website, a simply simple scent, that scentsy that you asked, you go all the way, scroll down all the way to the bottom where you see my picture as your scentsy consultant. At the bottom, it says view our catalog. You click on that, click on it again, and then it says view the PDF file and click on that and it will download for you guys the actual catalog and then you can actually view it turn it page by page as if you have the catalog in front of you so that's really nice um, for Sensi to do to do that okay so I'm trying not to make this video too long let's just get started now within the the new release these are all the new brand new spanking new scents for, for the spring and summer that Sensi released. We have never smelt them, never had them, and I actually love all these. I love all the scents. They are all amazing. Um, out of all the Sensi catalogs that I've had since being a Sensi customer, I feel that this spring and summer new release is my all-time um, all favorite because I absolutely love all these scents, but I had to narrow it down to just a few and then I'm going to um, share that with you guys and then also remind me our scent and warmer of the month for June is um, here and I want to talk about that but I'll wait towards the end because I will also talk about the new summer collection so I'm gonna wait wait for that at the end for now the sets okay so I picked I even have a little note I picked three I believe three actually four but I'll I'll show you guys three so the three scents I picked out for the new release, my ultimate, ultimate, really, really favorite, although I love them all, is one, Accidentally in Love. You guys um, have heard me talk about this. Oh my God, it's just, it's, it's fruity, it's refreshing. Um, Sensi says, crisp, gingery, tangerine, and exotic um, palm frond keep things clean and bright. I honestly don't smell any ginger into this. It just, it smells a lot like the next one, which is Let's Get Punchy. Let's Get Punchy is a, um, like a fruit punch. So this has a little bit of the fruit punch, not as much, but I don't honestly smell too much of the ginger at all. But I am stockpiling this as much as I can because I don't want to be without this um, during the fall or even next year because you guys know if you've been with Sensi a while what we have here doesn't necessarily mean it will come back next year so if you like a scent now I suggest that you guys order it stock up um, kind of thing because that's what I'm doing with these three scents okay so accidentally in love the next one I was telling you guys is let's get punchy this is the second bar I believe that I've been through and you guys know me with my videos like I I try to use up as many scents as possible so I could show you guys and share with you guys all my uh, my scents and what I've been warming but I have another empty clamshell so get punchy is a stir up some fiesta worthy fun with navel orange tropical cherry and apple slices it actually smells like uh, Hawaiian punch the Hawaiian punch soda that's just what it smells like to me, just just straight up Hawaiian punch. It smells so good. Kids' favorite, my favorite, even um, visitors that come into my home, it's like, ooh, what's that smell? I really like that one. Um, let's get punchy. Okay, 
The next one was just like a bit of a surprise to me. It is Rainforest Bungalow. Sensi says Rainforest Bungalow is take the road less traveled through emerald palm frond, dewy lemongrass, and aloe flower. Okay. When you smell this, oh, it smells so good. It just smells like rainforest. It smells like um, rain dew, not musty, not dry air. It's just it's just the dew of the forest around you it smells if rainforest has a smell it's this and so I love it and I love this in my studio right here I love it also in the bedroom so when I've been melting something that's just like very sweet and fruity or maybe even like a bakery scent and I want to get rid of that then I either smell this or melt it because this is just straight up rainforest if forest has a scent it would be this okay so those are my top three and like I said I love every single one of them the one that was very close to making it is um, caramel sugar cone okay so the reason I did not put this in here is because I love bakery scent but we are in the spring and the summer and to me, it's just that I'm I'm with the season, I'm with the weather. I wanna I want the home to smell like refreshing and clean and breezy and tropical kind of thing. And I tried. I didn't do this one. I think I did. I think I did a toffee. Oh, here it is. I tried to melt my last toffee crunch because it's very sugary, caramel, bakery kind of thing. I couldn't. I. I'm like nope Diane it's it's not fall it's not winter and I couldn't do it so this I love the scent of this it smells really good oh my gosh it's just caramel and sugar it smells really good but because we are into the spring and summer my nose will not adjust to this as with as much love as I would if it was during the fall and the winter so this is the only reason why it did not make my top um, picks but really close and I'm stop piling this one as well all right so that is the new release Whew. close one okay now let's move on to the spring and summer so my new spring and summer is two pages so there's a lot more in there to choose from okay. so here is my spring and summer favorites okay so I narrowed it down to two four six six cents okay and I think that's kind of fair because it is on two pages. There are so many scents in here that are just amazing. Um, really, I just needed to just narrow it down to just my ultimate. And the first up is Shimmer. So Shimmer and Sugar are what I have for both. And I do have them in the brick form because I am only a Scentsy consultant because of the Scentsy bricks. So every time Scentsy comes out with bricks, I have to have them. So since it came out with these bricks during December, November, December time, and that was my first time smelling Shimmer and Sugar, and they are amazing. If there is ever a, a girly scent, it would be these two, Sugar and Shimmer. Okay, first of all, Shimmer. Shimmer is sweet cherries, velvety apricots, and sensual white musk crowned with a tiara of shimmering spun sugar. And that's all this smells like. Oh, it just spun, spun sugar. So I, I'm very, I've been using my bar and not my brick, but um, I have, I have gone into the brick and actually cut it up. Hi, my love. Okay, Uncle Brian's sleeping. And it just smells so good. It just smells so girly and just, it's just an amazing scent. I'll just turn it. Alright, <laughs> Danica loves my scentsy videos. Okay, the other one is sugar. Sugar is fruity blend. Fruity blend of lemon drops and cotton candy. This just smells like cotton candy. Oh my goodness. And see how much I love it. Oh, it smells so good. It's so sweet and just so girly. Oh, it's, it's just, uh, just amazing. So sugar and shimmer definitely made my list. And then also... You guys know I had to put in their coastal strawberry. 
Coastal Strawberry, I am in love with Coastal Strawberry. It's just an amazing strawberry scent. I feel like it is not, um, it's not a puree, it's not fake strawberries or imitation strawberries, it's just like a strawberry um, field. Okay, oh, too much, too much. Too much, too much, oh, sorry. Okay, there we go. She has to sit on my lap. Okay, so just pure goodness of strawberries. So I had to put that in there. Okay, now I put Kahiko Hula and Havana Cabana like into one because they're both a tropical scent. So I am all about tropical, clean, breezy, refreshing scents. These two scents are the reasons why I became a Sensi customer about five to seven years ago. These two, Kahiko Hula and Havana Cabana. They are tropical, they are fresh, they are refreshing. Oh, they smell so good. Havana Cabana is um, luscious medley of pineapples, oranges, bananas, and berries. Oh my goodness. If they ever stop making Havana Cabana and Kahiko Hula, I will stop. I will stop buying Scentsy. I will stop being a consultant, no lie. Because these two scents are the reason why I'm so in love with the company. They, these two scents. Okay, Kahiko Hula. Kahiko Hula, it says, say aloha with exotic passion fruit, mango, and papaya. Kahiko Hula, oh. Oh, it smells so good. Okay, I got this from upstairs into my closet because I have uh, my drawers there. Just to let you guys know, because we are now going to the hot summer months. If you guys live in California, Texas, somewhere where it's already hot, Arizona. Over here, we're just starting to get our, our hot weather. Make sure that when you guys store your bars, store them down flat. You guys have seen some of my videos to where I store them like this. I can do that over here because we get very cold winter, but now that it's um, spring and summer, I have moved my bars, all of them, into a flat um, storage space like this one. Why? Because when it melts, it's gonna go down, it's gonna ruin whatever is around, and then you guys don't wanna do that because these are pricey and you love them to pieces, just like I do, so you wanna make sure you take care of them. And then keep them at a cool, um, dark, dry place. Don't put them into sunlight because they will melt. All right, Kahiko Hula. And then the other one that made my cut for the spring and summer collection is Lemon Vervana. Lemon Vervana is fresh lemon zest, bright lime, and Vervana leaf. So, okay, this one is empty. Oh, okay. This just smells so good. It just smells like lemon. It's just a good strong, it's very strong. It lasts for days. One cube, I only use one cube of this one because it is a good performer. And then it's just a good throw, meaning that it's one cube will um, melt into the studio and it's a pretty big size studio. This is a, a second living room that we had and I turned it into my studio. One cube will last for a couple of days in here because I have done that many times with this one. Nice, refreshing um, spring summer set for that one. All right, we are moving forward. Okay, classics. Classics was another one that was very hard for me because again, two pages, so there was a lot to choose from. And you guys know how much I have been loving my blueberry cheesecake, so of course that had to make the list, but <clears throat> Um, there was a couple that was like in really, like I really wanted to put them in here, but again, I had to limit it. So let's get started with, um, first of all, Amazon Rain. Amazon Rain. So um, Sensei says, Amazon Rain is set off on a rainforest romp swirling with sweet notes of melon, orange zest, coconut milk, and sultry night blooming jasmine. Amazon Rain is an uh, all time favorite ever since we've had it. And again, if you guys can see, it's starting to like sweat, like how it's, um, that's, um, that's because it's been hot here. And this is why I'm telling you guys, make sure to store it, store it, um, flat, but <clears throat> whew, smells so good. This is another clean, refreshing scent, not overpowering with, um, too much, 
um, musky or too much um, fruity scent at all. It's one of these very clean, refreshing scents. Very neutral scent, but there's um, the smell of like the coconut milk, the jasmine, and the melon are all in there, and they're all being swirled together so then one is not overpowering the other. I love this. It's, it's just a very nice um, neutral, kind of neutral scent for me. So got that. Blueberry cheesecake. Okay, so let me go show you guys. First of all, I always have an empty clamshell of blueberry cheesecake, okay? Because I am currently melting this in my bedroom. But I love this one cube. I only use one cube, whether it's for a studio like this or my living room or my bedroom. Um, one cube will last for a couple of days and it's nice for a performer, nice throw. It's been tried and true in this house. But I do have a blueberry cheesecake in a brick form because like I said earlier, I'm all about bricks. All about my bricks. So one, one of these days I will show you guys all my bricks because I have enough bricks to last me my whole lifetime and then some. <laughs> But I just love it. So I ended up getting a um, blueberry cheesecake brick when I ordered my laundry bundle. My lighting is kind of off. But uh, when I ordered my laundry bundle, when you become a VIP with the laundry line, you can also add a brick onto your order for an additional $24 and that's exactly what I did. So if I was to order another laundry um, VIP bundle, it has to be the VIP. It can't just be the regular... Um, uh, laundry line that we have and with the VIP you can cancel at any time so if you ever want a brick because there's a lot of choices of what scents of bricks to choose from next time I'm getting me a vanilla bean buttercream in a brick form okay so got that blueberry cheesecake is thick ri thick rich New York cheesecake with a light graham cracker crust and delicious blueberries friends blueberry cheesecake is so good so good if you don't think you'll like it and if you love bakery scent try it just just try it and let me know how much you're falling in love with it because i guarantee you will fall in love with it all right the next one i have is camu 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 is just like my kahiko hula in havana cavana it is a tropical scent it is amazing it performs well it smells good it's just it's just the smell of spring and summer for me it smells so good. It just smells so good. My house is full of people, friends. So this is why you're hearing people in the background and people walking in and out. So um, someone just walked into the bathroom. Camu Camu is tropical oasis of lush mandarin, camu camu, and passion fruit. Okay, really good. Next one is going to be white tea and cactus. White tea and cactus I feel that it's right there with the Amazon rain it's nice it's it's refreshing it's clean oh it smells so good and it lasts such a long time it's a, it's a good performer again um, it's just I feel like it's one of those neutral scents it's not too fruity it's not bakery it's not musky it's not woodsy it's just a clean crisp and refreshing floral mix with green notes and it does have a bit of floral, but not too much. I wouldn't even categorize that it, um, into the floral scent because I just, white tea and cactus, it just doesn't feel too floral for me. It's in the same category as Amazon Rain. So it's kind of clean, refreshing, and kind of neutral. Okay, so like that. And then I do have, ooh, I do have vanilla bean buttercream. Okay, it's part of my classics. Huh, okay. Vanilla bean buttercream. I have all these bars in here. I'm getting all mixed up. But you guys know how much I love my vanilla bean buttercream. Okay. Vanilla bean buttercream. Oh my God. Vanilla bean buttercream. Oh, vanilla bean buttercream. If I could marry vanilla bean buttercream, I would. And then I'd cheat on it with blueberry cheesecake. That's just how I feel about these two. But I would never cheat. That's not good. Oh, vanilla bean buttercream is just so good. It just tastes like frosting, like frosting on a cupcake. Frosting, just frosting goodness of vanilla bean. It, that's all it smells like. So if you like bakery scent and if you love cupcakes, vanilla bean buttercream. Oh my gosh, I love vanilla bean buttercream. Okay, 
So got that. And then, all right, so I got a oh, vanilla bean buttercream. Oh, wait. Okay. All right, so I got that. Okay, let me do my checklist. Blueberry, vanilla, kamikamu, white tea. Okay, those are all my scents. And let me tell you guys what was close, very close um, to the scents because there was a lot in here that I really like. By the sea. By the Sea is a nice tropical scent that almost made my list as well, but I had to just really narrow it down. Ocean, I love that in the laundry line. Oh my gosh. Ocean in the laundry line is so good. It will smell good. Your clothes will smell good even a week after it's been folded and put into your dresser. I, You guys have watched me on a video. I've, I've shared this with you guys. We did laundry on like a Saturday. I took the shirt out out of my drawer on like a Friday or another Saturday a week later and it still smelled like ocean. Especially if you're a runner, especially if you have kids that are into sports and their clothes are all funky smelling, stinky smelling, wash it in ocean, okay? That one was another one and then Luna. Luna is just a favorite with everybody. I did not put it in here because again, I had to limit it, but it's just more, it's, it's a bit too floral for me sometimes, but I have so many customers that love Luna, okay? Skinny Dippin' was the other one too. That was very close, Skinny Dippin'. Okay, but I had to narrow it down. All right, next one. Darling and Dashing. So this catalog is a brand new Darling and Dashing um, category. So I got a couple of those um, favorites for the Darling and Dashing. And then I got a little tester because I don't have a bar of it. But let me talk about this first. So <coughs> Blue Grotto is everyone's favorite. I love it. I just haven't had the chance to order it, to tell you the truth. I love it in a tester, and I'm putting it in here because everybody loves it. So if I don't put it in here, somebody's going to say, Diane, why did you not put it? But I love it. Every time I smell it, I love it. But the thing is, it's just that I'm surrounded with all these other loves that I need to order that I keep forgetting. So I will remind myself on my next order that I will order a Blue Grotto because, friends, it just smells good. Um, Blue Grotto is run away with fresh tropical notes, sweet citrus, and lush botanicals, which is, I'm kind of like, it's kind of bad for me to pick this, but yet I'm not melting it, right? But it smells so good. That's why I had to put this in here, and I'm not just putting it in here because everybody loves it, but it is a very popular tropical scent. I love it. I'm like, I don't know, why have I not been ordering this? Okay, note to self. It smells so good. It smells really good. Okay. The other one I put in here is Mystery Man. This is hubby's all-time favorite, Mystery Man. I love the smell of it. It just smells like a fresh, clean, sexy man. It just, if they had this in deodorant form, I would love it. You know what? For Father's Day, I missed out. And this is why I'm sharing this with you guys. It's like when Sensi has products, especially if it's limited supplies while supplies last like our summer collection now grab it when you can because friends i only waited about a week and a half when i decided like i want this for father's day because since he offered it into a lotion form hubby would love this in just the car just because sometimes he likes lotion i don't know that's just my hubby he likes to smell good and i was gonna order it and they ran out so <sighs> But it just smells clean and refreshing like you have a sexy man. Okay, got that. Mystery man, Lucky in Love. Lucky in Love is the dupe. Is that what they call it? The dupe. I'm not into this um, hip sayings, but yes. It is the dupe for Victoria's Secrets. Um, what is it? Love spell. <laughs> like I was gonna yell, Danielle, what is it? Love spell. And I should know this because I have that um, that Victoria's Secret roller in love spell. It just smells like that. It just smells exactly like Victoria's Secret love spell. It smells so good. It smells so good. <laughs> Looking love. Um, sweet bouquet of mandarin, bergamot, and orange with hints of peaches and berries. You know what? I didn't say the mystery man. Mystery man was warm. Warm white cedar, green vervana, and citrusy bergamot in a perfectly spiced, sensual fragrance. That's what it was. All right, the next one is Pink Haze. 
So Pink Haze is a sweet confection of berries, nectarines, and vanilla lace whipped cream nestled in marshmallow fondant. Pink Haze is just goodness. Mm. Oh, it's just so, so much goodness. Oh my goodness. It just smells so good. It smells so girly and such a lady. It's a lady scent. If I tell my girl smell like a lady, it would be Pink Haze. It just smells good. Okay, so got that. All right, pink haze. So I narrowed it down to one, two, three, four, four cents. And to tell you the truth, with darting and dashing, you know, um, bonfire beach kind of, you know, wanted I wanted to put that in there as well, but wanted to really narrow it down. And pineapple, coconut, vanilla. That's so good too. There's, oh, sea salt and avocado. So I have the sea salt avocado. That's good too. And I wanted to put that in there, but I really narrowed it down. So if you guys are looking for other scents, um, check out sea salt and avocado, pineapple, coconut, and, and uh, bonfire beach. Atlantic air is just a nice refreshing scent. I like that too. Okay, corner cafe. So corner cafe is here. So if you like the bakery scent, the cafe scent, um, then Corner Cafe is your go-to. So with Corner Cafe, I got two. I just narrowed it down to two because it's just a little small um, section. But I got Apple Butter Frosting. Okay. In, oh, here it is. Sorry. All right, so I narrowed it down to two. So I got the Apple Butter Frosting, and I got this such a while back ago that it came from a different consultant, not me. So let's just not show her name, but I do have it in a brick form. Apple butter frosting. It's a heartwarming medley of cinnamon, spice, apples, and decadent vanilla buttercream. It just smells good. It smells good. Um, the next car bar I order, I wanna get it also in an apple butter frosting. It smells really, really good. See, this is how old this is it's all you guys know I take care of my stuff and if I have this it came like that I bought it from the consultant like that and for me to buy it like that at regular price means that I really wanted it in a brick form but apple butter butter frosting is a heartwarming medley of cinnamon spice apples and decadent vanilla uh, buttercream and that's exactly what it is it just smells good um, got that and then I got just two sugar cookie so sugar cookie is warm, sweet blend of butter, sugar, and creamy vanilla. And sugar cookie is just that. It's just a plain, kind of plain scent, but it smells so good. It's just sugar. It's, it's like melted down sugar, and you're ready to make apple pie. No, not an apple pie, because then you're thinking of all the spices. You're ready to make a cake. It smells like, like a cookie. Ah. Uh, Frosting. It just it just smells like sugar, like a like a plain kind of sugar cookie. And the nice thing about sugar cookie is that because it is so just it just to me just smells like a plain vanilla scent, like a creamy vanilla, frothy creamy vanilla that um, that you can mix this with other stuff that are just too power uh, powering sometimes. Like for instance, if you had. Um, if you had like a strawberry, like let's just say a coastal strawberry and you feel like, oh, not this because this is just perfect by itself. But if there was another scent, like strawberry swirl to me is just too, too strawberry. If I want to tone that down, I would add sugar cookie to it. Um, uh, maybe even a blueberry cheesecake. If blueberry cheesecake is just too overpowering, you can add a sugar cookie to it and and that will just tone it down a bit. And that's what I use sugar cookie for um, if I don't wanna just smell it by itself because it's amazing by itself, but you mix it with something, it just kinda tones it down. All right, so that's it for that, but everybody seems to forget that we do have a kids collection. So I'm going to share with you guys um, from the kids um, collection, and there's not a lot. There's like actually, I think five or six, but I always, forget to um to share it so here is the kids collection so kids collection has bubblegum blast candy crave gleeful grape jammy time and oodles of orange and my favorite out of that collection is the new candy crave so this was just released um this catalog and 
It smells so good. Okay. Oh, candy crepe. I need to get more of this. Candy crepe is just the sweet stuff. Raspberry sorbet, cotton candy, and fluffy marshmallow. It smells amazing. It smells amazing. Oh, it smells amazing. Okay. So, that's it, friends. Those are all the... The... The scents from the spring and summer catalog. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Now I'm going to show you guys our scent and warmer of the month really quick. So here is the catalog. I did not order the warmer. I was kind of debating should I order it. It is um, Beach Cruiser. Okay, so it is that. I really wanted it, but you guys know I have so much warmers and every time I show you guys a warmer, it is because I display it into my home. I'm still debating should I get it, but I have I have six months, um, hopefully they do not run out, to be able to think about it. So if I really want it, I'm going to debate uh, on getting it probably either next month or the month after because it will go so well with the summer collection of the bungalow that I just ordered. I'm gonna talk about that as well. And then the scent of the month is Watermelon Wave. Watermelon Wave is ride, ride a riptide of watermelon, sparkling citrus, and tart Mexican lime. And I have been melting it, so if you guys can see, I like it. It's, um, it's not as watermelon scent as I like because I do like the watermelon scents. I feel like it's just the smell of summertime, kids running around, having fun kind of thing. Um, it doesn't have a strong watermelon but yet it's still there. It's just, I feel like it's just a back note of watermelon. It has more of a, a sparkling citrus scent to it uh, which is really nice as well. So I did enjoy this. Um, I have been melting it. So the for the whole month of June, Coastal Rider will be $45, normally $50, and then the Watermelon Wave um, Scent Circle will be $270. Watermelon Wave Scentsy Bar is going to be $540 for the whole month of June. Watermelon Wave Room Spray is $720. Got that. And then let me show you guys the summer collection that just came out yesterday, June 1st. Again, it is while supplies last, very limited quantity. Once they sell out, then they sell out. So let me go ahead and show you that. All right, friends, you know I'm just going to show it like this because I'm very technologically challenged. So um, when you go into my website, A Simply Simple Scent, you can go into under specials and that's what it will show. So currently we have summer collection. We have the crystal collection that's still available. We have a few of the Father's Day still available. Always order items through the bundles and save. You guys, um, my friends here, you guys are all my friends. You are so good. You're now ordering your, um, your bar six for 30. You get one bar for free, but also if you order two of the same scent, you get two for, um, you get, uh, you get two, you get two for 11 if you order it through the bundles and save. So let me just click on that really, really quick. So here are all the bundles and save. But um, if you guys see there's the Scentsy Bar, you can build your multi-pack. But then we're always forgetting that there is a two. Two Scentsy uh, Twin Bar, so you get two of them for 11. And then, but they have to be the same, the same scent. So let me go ahead. And then also Habitat for Humanity, the clearance. And then this is the scent and warmer of the month. That always shows you what we have on special and they're always 10% off for that particular month. So here is the summer collection. Oh my gosh, friends. This is so amazing. Look at this. Oh my gosh. Let me zoom. Let me zoom. See, she's so pretty. I just want a little cottage like that. That's all I want in Hawaii. That's all I want. Okay, but we have Beach Daisy as the new fragrance scent. Um, I believe there are three new scents. Beach Daisy comes in the bath bomb, the hand soap, also the laundry um, Daisy Beach Daisy laundry bundle. It comes in room spray, scent circle, and then the the beach, the Scentsy bar. Also, new clothing for your Scentsy buddies. Here is the other one, the other warmer. This is a mini warmer for twenty dollars. Look how cute! Oh my goodness, look how cute. Okay. So I got that as well. I can't wait to show you guys that. Life is Swell is the other um, scent that we have available in bath bomb, hand soap, laundry line as well. 
room spray scent circle and then the scentsy bar and then the neroli blossom laundry bundle is only available into the laundry line not into the scentsy bars and room sprays and that we have a new scentsy buddy ori the orca also paradise oil three pack comes in three different scents which is the moss margarita sunshine and seashells peach paradise i also ordered this so i'm going to share that with you guys and then uh, pink promenade is the other scent it comes in bath bomb hand soap laundry line also room spray scent circle and then the the scent um scent bar so these are our limited um quantities while supplies last summer collection and i hope you guys um can visit the website and enjoy this and if you guys have any questions let me know I'll be sure to um, shoot you guys a message and answer your questions. So that's it, friends. Just wanted to share that with you. Aloha. Have an amazing day.